Today's video is a look into the future at what the upsquared might bring to the table. So if you already have an up board, is it worth upgrading? Or if you're just looking to get an up squared, what could you look uh, potentially at getting performance wise out of the CPU and GPU? And this video, we're gonna take a look at that. So let's get to the voice server. Okay, so as you can see here, we are getting ready to run a Geekbench 4 test on the up board. So once we hit start, I will go ahead and start fast forwarding until the end. Okay, so as you can see, our score is 882 on single core and 2398. Now, let's jump over to my substitute uh, up squared since they're not out yet and I don't have a copy. I mean, sample. <laughs> and uh, let's see how theoretically the up squared will do all right let's see what our up squared analog can do okay let's see the score 1590 for single core and 3897 for multi core. Nice. Okay, same as the last two tests. Let's see what the compute score is on Geekbench 4. Hit it. Oh, come on. How did I mistime that? Okay, so as you can see, our score is 5,637. So we are going to now jump over to the VMAC as our analog up squared and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the analog up squared. Let's see what it can do. Okay, so let's see what kind of score we get. 8428. That's a fair bit higher. Very nice. Okay, so this test is going to be a little different. I am going to be using the unzip utility built into Windows 10 to unzip Cinebench. And we're going to see how long that takes. Uh, between the up board versus the up potential up squared. So let's do this.
I'm honestly quite astonished how long that took. 9 minutes and 53 seconds. Okay, let's jump over to the upsquared analog and see how good it did. Okay, let's see how the upsquared analog can do. It finished, astonishingly, 5 minutes and 45 seconds. That's almost half the time. Okay, so now it is time for Cinebench on the up board. Let's see how this does. And there we have it, a open GL score of 1139. Not bad. Okay, let's see what the up squared potentially can do. Up squared did not do too bad. 12.55, so that's almost uh, FPS and a half faster. Not that great. Okay, now let's see how the CPU can do on the up board. eighty six CB that's not terrible I've seen some Y processors do up to a whopping 99 so not terrible now let's see how our up squared analog will do All in all, that is not bad. 123 CB up from 86. Not a bad little jump. Okay, up next is the up board running Valley Benchmark Basic.
Oh my, nothing spectacular here. 5.4 FPS and a score of 228. Now it's time to see how the upboard analog does. Okay, so that is a whopping 5.6 FPS, and the score is 233. Nothing spectacular. Okay, let's see what the upboard can do with zero anti-aliasing, quality low, running in DX11, full screen at 1080p. Well, look at that. 0.1 FPS faster and 1 point faster on the score. Well, that's a little interesting. Let's see what the up squared could do. Okay, let's see what the up squared might be able to do when it comes out with the same settings. And we are looking at 6.6 .6 FPS and a score of 276. That's not terrible. And last up is a benchmark called User Benchmark. I honestly do not remember where I got this, but I do like some of the tests it runs. So let's see how the upboard does. And of course, we'll finish it off with the analog up squared. Okay, so score-wise, the upboard got 11% gaming, 20% desktop, and 13% workstation. Let's see how the up squared does. Let's see what the up squared potentially can get percentage-wise with this benchmark. Okay, in this one we are looking at 12, 31, and 15. You guys made it this far. Awesome, thank you very much. 
Um, hopefully you like the video. As you can see, the up squared, when it does come out, will offer some benefit CPU-wise. GPU-wise, not so much. And all in all, I think the up squared will be a fair upgrade. If you have an up, up board, especially since there's a lot more USB 3 ports and the mini M SATA and the um, PCIe uh, 1X slot, that'll be pretty interesting, also. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, you also know what to do. So, as always, you'll see me in the next video. Bye!